Riding around the res and just see that two thousand dollars burnt up and our housing needs are terrible and if you, I don't know, they were saying young guy, but you know, they never catch anybody doing it so much. They don't know what to do with them. And everything I heard was the one that broke into the boys and girls club was wrong last week and throwing rocks at the cameras again and the list of growth them and he blazed off on them again. I don't know if there's a police report reported or not, but it was strange that he was getting back at the cameras or something. I don't know if there's anything we can do about that either. That's all I had. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's <clears throat> the campaign season, you know, because I've seen some in the past that were they're pretty rough and, uh, you know, I don't Facebook, so people talk about Facebook and the stuff that flies around on there, but, you know, it's been pretty good, you know, and, and uh, those are, you know, it's hard, you know, and everybody, whenever they come to the tribal council, um, we all have ideas and things that people expect of us. You know, they want things changed, they want this, they want that. And it's a lot of pressure, it's a lot of uh, responsibility. But um, at the end of the day, I think all we really want is just to try to make you know, a better life for our people. You know, you sit at this table, uh, and sometimes it can be overwhelming because we're running one of the largest, uh, most powerful Indian tribes in the country, up Red Lake Bend. And we're one of the, the top tribes, so it's a, it's a huge, huge job and a big responsibility. And we also have to carry that tradition and that legacy from the ones that came before us. And that's the reason why we asked Eugene to 
do acknowledge our ancestors and our elders and the, and the spirits that guide us. And uh, I want to just personally say that, you know, uh, all you want to do is leave the place better than when you arrived here. You know, when I, you know, these jobs are not forever. And there's times when my staff, you know, they get down. There's so many people, you know, that, that need things and, and want help and we see them hurting and we, we try to help them. I mean, we can't help everybody, but, um, you know, it, one day we just got together and talked and said, let's not complain about our jobs here because we're only here just a brief moment and someone else is going to help We want to be able to say later on when we're playing with our grandkids, you know, they was on the tribal council for a while and, you know, while I was there then, they did some pretty dangerous things. And look at that, I helped build that. Look at that, I helped create that. And now my grandkids are doing it because that's what our ancestors did for us. So for the representative uh, from Nima Outgoing, I want to say it's an honor working with you. Had a lot of uh, issues. I know there's a lot of people that rely on you for a lot of different things, just like the income. Now he's about to experience all of this. And uh, I, I know he's already getting involved with people. You know, it's just the way it works. And uh, so uh, I think that you made your mark, Linda. I've done some good things here. And uh, I just want to say the good honor working with you. And for the ones who want their elections, you know, nice job. It works. That pen fell apart on me for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still want some more money here. Well, <laughs> well, Probably, you probably threw this on a porn stop, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, they went flying all over somebody. <laughs> But 
you know, at, at the end of the day, too, you know, you understand that, hey, this is like, we got to support the tribe to go forward. You know, I appreciate it. Some of the council you know, women in the past, they just, <coughs> the election never seen them again. So they didn't come back. And, and uh, just basically had the court vote for the next one. So they were going to do that. Hey, uh, yeah. <coughs> I want to put something to rest, put something to bed here. Okay. I was approached uh, uh, this morning that I was coming to a meeting today with quite your strong, our economic development person, and that isn't true. I never ever said that. And I just heard it when I got here to my company. Okay. <laughs> All kinds of things, you know, as we start off. Last time of year. That's, that's one of the things, too, is a lot of people are nervous because they, you know, they uh, are, especially around election time, they, you know, there's all kinds of rumbling and things that happen. Thanks for sharing that. With us. Okay. All right, Jigs, uh, welcome. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to keep swearing in. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Uh, we'll keep them all together. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, I want to have, uh, have an honor song for you, Linda. I haven't seen you for a long time. <laughs> I didn't see you. Yeah. <laughs>
and bylaws of the Red Lake Band of Chippewa Indians. I, Randy Dix Gamer, do solemnly swear that I will support, honor, and comply with the, with the revised constitution and bylaws of the Red Lake Band of Chippewa Indians. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to this constitution and bylaws, and I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to this constitution and bylaws, and I take this obligation freely without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of my office in a manner that will uphold and keep and be in keeping with my Anishinaabe heritage and traditions. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of my office in a manner that will uphold and be in keeping with my Anishinaabe heritage and traditions. With honor and respect for the tribal council position to which I have been elected by the members of the Panema district. With, with honor and respect for the tribal council position to which I have been elected by the members of Panema district. Congratulations, Representative Kingberg. <laughs>
Save the best for luck. This one here is yours. I, Richard W. Barrett Sr., do solemnly swear that I will support, honor, and comply with the revised constitution and bylaws for the Red Lake Band of Chippewa Indians. I, Richard Barrett Sr., do solemnly swear that I will support and honor and comply with your revised constitution and bylaws of the Red Lake Band of Chippewa that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the constitution and bylaws of the Red Lake Band of Chippewa without any reservation or purpose of the that I will bear faith, true faith and loyalty to this constitution and bylaws and that I take this obligation to you without any mental reservation or purpose of me. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of my office and the honor that I will be able to do my duties and I shall be very good and courageous. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of my office in a manner that will uphold and be in keeping with my Anishinaabe heritage and traditions. With honor and respect for the tribal council position to which I have been elected by the members of the Little Rock District. Uh, with honor and respect for the tribal council position to which I have been elected by the members of the Little Rock District. Congratulations, Representative Barrett. <laughs> okay, Representative Kingbird, you can uh, take your seat. Anybody else want to get sworn in? Comfort, thank you. Yeah, we're going to uh, have a, a song for the Thank you. 